Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> I'm going to make this a quick one, and I'm not going to ramble on. I'm just showing you some uh, updates on uh, what's happening here. And, and, and then there will be some photography at the end. So, uh, anyways, uh, more stuff is uh, arriving for uh, my contacts, 2A. So uh, now I'm able to shoot the 135 mil uh, uh, lens. The uh, it's a sonar, right? The 135 f4. So this this is the special viewfinder for it, right there. So uh, so you're able to line up your compositions. You it can do the 50 and the uh, 135. 50 is okay through the range finder view, but uh, once you get to the 135, these don't have parallax compensation and stuff. So it's it's quite a neat little gadget. Kind of looks like a TV at the front, and uh, it just folds down. There you go, and it just slips on. Whoop. Break it. It just slips on. And I got the little leather holder with it. So uh, that's arrived for this kit. Another thing that has arrived for this kit is the uh, the flash the flash converter. So we're going to be able going to be able to use the Godox um, Lux Senior flash on this camera. Now, uh, from what I understand, it's the 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 sync speed is fifty, but it this this camera needs the very special. Uh, converter to plug in your uh, your flash and then so this goes on this goes on like this you know and it just screws in here so you have to have uh, I, I think once they got into the three A's or something like that some of them the newer ones they, they didn't need this is a 51 model the newer ones they didn't need this converter but the, the older ones you did, so then you just plug your flash uh, sync cord into there. And that will also work the, uh, the Godox uh, wireless system. So that's arrived. Do, 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 do. Put that, it's really nice. It, it came with the instructions and a really nice box. You know, this is a... I'm just so in love with this system. It's a... You know this system in the in the Nikon F system is 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 really becoming one of my favorite systems. I've got uh, received what it just happened. Oh, that's popped up on its own. Okay. Oh, I didn't set it right. Ghosts. So, anyways, the, and then I got this small holder. Now, this actually is designed for the uh, IcoFlex. I don't know if you can see it. The small IcoFlex over here. But I'm going to convert it a bit for the other smaller cameras when I have uh, flash and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll drill another hole over here and thread it so we can mount different cameras on here. You know, and, and definitely I'll be, uh, you know, at times probably mount the uh, Contacts 2A on there. But the big thing and the reason why I'm making this video right now is because what else has arrived and there's still more coming there's still stuff coming is the ecofot light meter the zeiss icon ecofot light meter 1950 this is a real cool meter this meter works it's a functioning meter it's in pristine shape i've calibrated it uh, a few things about this meter it's got an incident reading uh slide slide out so you put that on and it turns into an incident meter it, uh, it, it it this is a very this this meter has actually surprised and shocked me so what i did when i got this meter is i calibrated it so this is a selenium meter it's beautiful work of art it probably needs a little bit of cleaning but i you know my stuff is working stuff so i don't mind and this wait this meter is amazing. So that, that goes with the uh, with the Contax 2A kit, right? Look at how I cleaned up that lens. 
So what I did with that meter is once I got it calibrated is I put my uh, my uh, the Nikon uh, Nikkor SC Auto one one point four fifty mil on here. The, this was a uh, this is a converted non AI with a coating. So early you know sixty you know it's all within that. And I threw it on the D seven hundred. Put the D seven hundred on totally manual, and I went out uh, and. Uh, and uh, black and white, uh, put it on uh, JPEG fine, black monochrome, and uh, used the meter in some different situations. You know, there's probably about 12 photos, something like that, uh, to see how it performs. And wait till you see how this meter performs. So uh, there's a, some, there's, you know, we got the, I got the big mural of sleigh dogs on the fence, so... I went in the shade, full shade, pulled back a bit, and then uh, got some sun, uh, some daylight in that in the shots. It was a, uh, it was a, a, a cloudy but very bright, sunny type day. So it was, uh, it was quite interesting and quite a test for the uh, for the Ikafot. So uh, here we go. Here's the result from the uh, Ikafot. Light meter, <laughs> just amazed by this. So uh, I I haven't put uh, film in the camera yet uh, to go out and shoot, but uh, so that's the light meter that I'll be using with this camera. Period. I won't be uh, pulling out spot meters or anything because I'm doing the period correct thing. So that's why you're seeing period correct, except for this. You know, this isn't period correct, but. Uh, a majority of the shooting, I have a Zeiss Icon uh, period correct tripod coming. I have uh, some uh, filters and the hood coming still. Uh, and a few other things here and there. And in the future, there's going to be the three close-up lenses. Uh, whether I'll get more lenses or not, I might get a, an 85 uh, Triotar because it's a triplet. Uh, the 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 85 millimeter sonar is almost is very you know unless you want a Jenna and I I like Opton, it, it's it's so expensive. So the other lenses for this can run you close to two thousand dollars Canadian if you start getting the really good stuff, right? Because you got to remember you have to also with those lenses find this Alba viewfinder that matches and these can get quite expensive so uh here we go still some stuff coming the period correct stuff this is going to be awesome there will be b-roll and stuff coming once i get all the stuff collected up together you are going to see uh, a different style of uh, video coming from me so i hope you enjoy these photos uh let me know what you think about this eco uh metering <laughs> I found it better than the cameras, actually. <laughs> That's just a, you know, spoiler alert. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, like, subscribe, click the bell. A little scruffy. Uh, Saturday morning, lots of smoke outside, trying to paint my fence. We're getting everything done we can. See you guys later. Bye.